Welcome back y'all to Harmon Homestead. I'm in the kitchen today and you might not even recognize who I am. So guys, yesterday the wind, it, it blew my corn over. It, it wasn't too bad, but it was, it was pushed over. So it's 7 a.m. I went outside, it was hot, it was humid. It tried to sprinkle, then it was sun shining. I was out there hilling that corn up until 10:15 for three and a half hours by hand with a hoe, and it was excruciating. I had a baseball cap on with that long hair, and I finally flipped it around backwards. I, it was miserable. And this morning I said, "You know what? I'm gonna cut this hair off. I'm done." So looks like I flipped it out, but it just my hair's got a natural wave to it, and it just went out on its own. So, anyways, new hair, new me, new woman. So, whoop. We are in the kitchen today. Welcome back. No recipes today, but I'm going to show you what foods we stock up on, okay? And the reason I'm standing here is this is my little spice rack my husband put up for me. And I love it because i got a, a menu side. I've got a basket here. I love wicker baskets. I love these. I put my eggs in them. Vegetables. You can never have enough. Go to a flea market, thrift store. You can get them for 50 cents, okay? I love the baskets. And this kitchen conversion chart. Guys, I got this at Dollar General last year at a summer clearance, whatever dot event they had, and I got it for a dollar. This tells you everything from a teaspoon to a gallon, how many quarts, pints, and I said, this is great for canning, because it tells you what's in each one, like how many pints to make a quart. A lot of times you'll forget, especially with teaspoons, tablespoons, milliliters, ounces. It's got it all right here. How great, for a dollar, I said, I can't pass that up. Now, above me is all of our spices. Down through the years, I've collected spices. Like, I don't use sage unless I'm making dressing, okay? It's a once-a-year thing at Thanksgiving, so I've got a bottle of sage. And I collect it. Of course, I'm not going to throw it away. We're going to put it up here on the spice rack. I've got Old Bay seasoning. And look at this that I got last year. Pickling spice. I got this for a dollar at the local grocery store. This stuff will last forever, okay? But it says the expiration is 2024. I pickle my eggs with this. I use this for cucumbers. This is just good stuff to have. So for a buck, I didn't pass that up, okay? Got tons of that stuff up there. I'm gonna show you my top spice that we use to stock up on, if I can find it here. For $1, ground cinnamon. Guys, I want you to get in your kitchen and I want you to cook. A, it's better for you. B, you're using what you grow. C, you're not spending money on takeout. I want you, whoop, we'll just throw the spice bottle. I want you to cook, okay? I gotta get my bottle. Cinnamon, cinnamon can be used for everything from tea to desserts. I want you to get ground cinnamon. Secondly, garlic powder, garlic powder and onion powder pepper and salt really and you could do without the rest okay some of this stuff i've had for pickles like turmeric to make pickles before i didn't use all this i mean but keep it don't throw it away rosemary before i got our plants we've got tons of stuff up here okay but and this right here fruit fresh protector produce protector from ball i've used that for canning apples before stuff like that okay so i've just got kind of a collection here um, powdered broth, we use that for cooking dried beans. I'll throw that down in there. Black-eyed peas and beef broth are delicious, okay? So a lot of times, if you don't have money to buy food, try to spice up what you're serving or switch it up a little bit, okay? But that's the basics. Now I'm gonna show you our basic staples over here, okay? Okay, guys, I had to turn the camera vertical. It, it kept falling over the stand. It's four foot tall and it's wanting to fall with it horizontal so i've had to turn the phone vertical okay let's muddle through this together all right <laughs> so i've got staples here on the counter that i'm going to show you okay now the price of this is going up so i have been told white rice any kind of rice okay i just like the this time you can get whatever i eat brown rice don't matter to me but rice is going up this is a five pound sack do you know how many meals this will make for me and my husband quite a bit okay so if you see rice stock up on it dried goods what i'm going to show you are pantry staples this is all we buy okay except i'm not going to show you the cold stuff but like buttermilk milk butter and cheese otherwise nothing else goes in that fridge really nothing okay rice get rice you can make stew with this you can make a side of rice you can make 
a meal out of this, throw some salsa on it and have Mexican rice, you can get whatever, guacamole sauce, right here, okay, rice. It's a great filler. Look for foods that are high in carbs. Look for foods that are just sustainable, okay? If you're going to stock your pantry, if you want stuff like that, non-perishable items, dried beans, pinto beans. I've got red kidney beans. I use this for chili, okay? You can just cook a side of beans and eat it with cornbread. You can do so many things with beans. Now, why do I have a garden and I'm buying these beans? I don't grow these types of beans. It takes so much space in the garden to get kidney beans and things like that. I don't grow those. I'd rather have green beans. If I can still buy these cheap, I'm going to buy these and use the rest of my garden space for a quick flip like bush beans, pole beans, something easy, quick, simple, and then go buy what you don't grow. I still think you need to grow your own food. This is just stuff that we don't grow. Like I don't grow rice. We can't grow that here in Alabama. I don't know of anybody that does. Kidney beans, I'm not growing that. Pintos. Lima beans. A lot of times I won't grow lima beans. Now this year I've got pole beans, Christmas uh, lima beans, the big pole beans, butter beans. Still, if you see it on sale, grab it. I think this was 50 cents at the time. It says great value, and I have not been in Walmart since Easter, okay? So, I don't know when I got this, but they'll last forever, okay? Now, vinegar. You can make your own vinegar, but if you see vinegar cheap, pick it up, okay? This right here is the still white vinegar. I use this for pickling eggs. I also use apple cider vinegar. That's, it takes nothing to make apple cider vinegar, but still, Pick it up if it's cheap. You can clean with this, okay? I've made cleaner with just vinegar and water. If you really want an abrasive scrubbing agent, throw baking soda down in it. But otherwise, this is a good cleaner. It's a disinfectant, okay? Or pickle your food with it. All right, vinegar. I don't use vinegar to cook with as much as I do clean with, okay? Speaking of baking soda, I do use baking soda quite a bit. I put this in my cornbread. I use this with some of my desserts that I cook. So, baking soda. I clean with baking soda. If you've got grime around your tub, don't fool with buying expensive cleaner. Put baking soda all over it, throw a little water on it, and scrub it off, and it will be cleaner than if you had went and bought store-bought cleaner. I promise you, this stuff will get off I don't know, a year's worth of grime. I, when I when we moved into this house, the house had been abandoned for years and it was terrible. And the tubs were just, I mean, in the worst condition ever, ceramic tubs. And they're old, okay, I've told you this house is old. Baking soda and a scrubber, it was sparkling new. Now we did Clorox and other stuff too, but this, I'm telling you, baking soda is the way to go. So you can cook with it, clean with it, deodorize, you can do whatever. And it tells you everything. Carpets, dishwasher, disposal, drains, refrigerators, counters, right there, bathtubs. They ain't lying, y'all. It works. That's all I put in my tub. Okay. Right here. Now, some of this, I'm all for making. Some of this, I think it's easier and cheaper to buy. Mayonnaise has went up severely in price. I think yesterday I paid pushing $5 for this. Now, I saw another store had a sale tomorrow, two for five, the same size. This is not even a brand name. The brand names were over five a jar. I do use mayonnaise to do stuff like egg salad. I do um, like baked chicken. I'll coat it in mayonnaise. It's just a condiment that I like to have. I don't go through that much of it, but I use it. Now, by the time you use olive oil and everything else, it may be cheaper for you to make it. It may not. I just buy mine, okay? Moving on. Y'all, this is the one thing that I cannot live without. I can't, to this point. I mean, if it was hard times, I could. I got to have my coffee, okay? Until, until further notice, unless we just, at the bottom of the barrel, we're gonna have coffee. Guys, this is so expensive. Now, someone gave me this black silk and it's great. I usually just drink plain folders. I think this one's even more expensive, but um, this was a, a gift from a friend of mine, but coffee I've got to have. But this is still cheaper brewing a pot every morning than going out and buying a coffee drink, okay? You can use the grounds in your garden, in your compost, as an abrasive agent. You can do so many things with this. If, if you're gonna pay this much for it, put it to use as much as you can. I've gotten into this every afternoon, what's left in the pot, because I'll make a whole pot every morning for myself, okay? If it's me and my husband, 
in the mornings. If he hasn't left for work already, we'll we'll drink two pots. I know that's that's <laughs> but whatever's left, I'll leave it in the pot, and it's got to where I'll put a little milk in it and some ice cubes in the afternoon. I'll have me a little iced coffee drink. That's great during the summer, and I've never liked iced coffee, but here lately I've gotten addicted to that. Okay, so you use every last ounce. If you're gonna pay this much for this coffee, use it. But y'all, Folgers, Folgers is the way to go. My whole family drank Maxwell House, but I'm a, I'm a Folgers girl. Red label. All right. Last year, there was, if y'all know what Ollie's is, we have an Ollie's halfway nearby. And they had all these pie fillings on sale. They had a mark for two, this one was two twenty nine. This is Apple. The expiration on it is 2024, okay? This stuff's gonna last longer than that, but you do what it tells you, but a lot of people will push the, the limit on the date, okay? This is apple. I'll take my cinnamon I showed you, throw it over it, make a cobbler. I'm not making just strictly pies with this. Fried pies, apple pie, apple cobbler. There's so many things you can do with pie filling, and the reason that I buy pie filling, when I, when I saw a good sale on it, I bought like 100 of them because we don't have fruit trees that are producing yet. I have apple trees, cherry trees, peach trees, pear trees. They're not making yet. I only planted those within the past two years and blueberry bushes, but the frost got them this year and they're big enough to produce. I've got one bush that's tall as I am and I'm five, four, five, five. So, you know, it's, you can't help the weather. So it's good to have backups. If something's this cheap and I want you to go tell me how much it is in the store right now. I don't think it's 229 for this big can, but anyways. Something sweet. Always get something sweet to put back, okay? Speaking of that, peanut butter. If you get in just a bind, just a, eat a tablespoonful of peanut butter. It's got carbs, sugar, the whole nine yards. Protein, okay? Peanut butter sandwiches you can eat, or I like to have it because it's gotten to where something cheap I can make for my husband, peanut butter cookies or peanut butter desserts. It's gotten where I really try to supplement desserts. We think that, we've been trained to think desserts are just extra. No, a lot of times I'll skip down on supper and then try to feed him with stuff like this afterwards. Let me tell you, he got too hot last week. He was out there working on the tractor and trying to hook up the cultivator and all that. And he came inside and I had a pan full of these ready and he was, like, he was really too hot. I was trying to ice him down. It was great to have something sweet to just get some sugar back in him because he had not eaten all day either. I had these sitting out. Stuff like that. Think economical. And I had all these peanut butter cookies. It takes nothing to make these, okay? Nothing. So peanut butter, I do keep that. We don't grow peanuts here, so yeah, I'm gonna buy that. But now look, the other day I paid, I think $5 for this. Food is ridiculous. When you talk about, this right here was a $10 bill. Mayonnaise and peanut butter. Could I do without this? Yes. But I'm not to that point yet, okay? Now, let me tell you something that is just extremely ridiculous in price, and that's this right here, yeast. I make my own bread. It's still cheaper. This says bread machine. You can still use this on, in your own homemade bread without using a machine, okay? This is just a jar of yeast. Refrigerate after opening, and it's good until 2024. Well, I can guarantee you, we're going to go through this before then because I think this is for 16 envelopes. So that's, if you make two loaves of bread per envelope you're gonna have you know it's gonna go through quick real quick this was eleven dollars and 24 cents this week that i bought at the grocery store that's ridiculous for to me to me for this but it's still cheaper than 350 a loaf of bread okay yeast pizza crust pizza is something so easy to make homemade you don't have to have pepperoni you don't have to have all this stuff just do a cheese pizza this flour Tomato sauce and cheese and you're good to go. And some of those herbs. I'm big on herbs. If you find herbs on sale, if you don't grow your own, buy them, buy them, buy them, okay? Yeast, I want y'all to make your own bread. We're not paying $3.50 a loaf. It ain't gonna take nothing for you getting here and knead up some dough every now and then, okay? All right, next, the number one thing that I have to buy, all for this flour. I buy this and I know you can make self-rising, but a lot of times I'll pick up self-rising too. I go through flour all the time. If I fry food, I'm going through flour to coat it with. If I'm making bread, I go through flour. If I make pie crust, I go through flour. Stock up on flour. Do you know how much this was last year? Do you know how much it is now? It's ridiculous. 
So buy several sacks before it goes up the next time. Just buy it while it's at the price it is. I'm telling you, but cook with flour. You can do so much with flour. Flour. That's it. Do you do you see what we're doing here? These are staples. Like you're gonna have to cook with this. My husband said the other day. Like, he would be happy with a sack of Cheetos, okay? But he, he's looking at this kind of stuff and the people thinks we ain't got no groceries. Yes, we do. It's just put hand to bowl, hand to product. We got to make them, okay? Or I do. So, be sure don't turn up homemade chocolate pie, okay? <laughs> so, pass it up. Speaking of that, I have picked this up. This was relatively cheap. I made a chocolate pie the other night. Again, pie crust. Flour, butter, water. That's it. This, some eggs, home homegrown eggs, farm fresh eggs, and you got a chocolate pie with sugar. So it's good to have on hand, or if you want to spice it up a little bit, just cocoa powder, okay? Um, we don't drink hot chocolate, but it's good to make uh, a different treat every now and then, just something non-perishable, okay? It's better than going buying tubs of ice cream, okay? Just, just try it. Something else besides coffee. We, we ain't, we ain't. Too far gone where we can't buy tea yet. I buy my own tea bags, okay, and we make tea. I drink unsweet tea. I just like it. Years ago, I used to drink the fake sweetener. Now, I just drink unsweet tea. Every now and then, I'll pour sugar down in it, but we make our own tea. Keep it on hand. This stuff will last forever, okay? Stock up on it, especially if they got a sale, okay? Tea. Do you see my groceries here? And this is like, I buy it. Now, the flour, I'll, I'll have to pick up every time I go to the store, which is every two to three weeks, okay? But this, this sack of baking soda has lasted forever. Um, I mean, we're not buying this stuff that often. It's just every now and then, and again, staples. Okay, something else. I've had this for a while because I don't make cornbread that often. I do, I would say, once a month but more in the winter time because we like cornbread with chili. We like it with soup, stew, cornmeal, cornmeal. I, I try all different kinds, okay? I like all different kinds. I usually just get what's there. I think I got this at, I don't know the last, maybe it was Easter, I can't remember, but anyways, cornmeal. You do not have to have all the ingredients to make cornbread. You can do just cornmeal and water and fry it, okay? If you got that bad. But remember, you need this to make your cornbread, baking soda. Cornmeal, um, some stuff that I fry, I'll mix up. Like hush puppies, no, I'll make, I'll cornmeal, okay? Uh, cornmeal and flour. Something else I did not show you at my spice rack. <clears throat> this is imitation. This come from the Mighty Fine Olives. But this is vanilla extract. Guys, put that in your ice. Do you know how many of the shaved ice that I showed you? Boiling water, two cups, a cup of sugar, and then a teaspoonful of this or whatever flavoring you've got. And let me show you, the other day when I was at the store, I splurged and I got banana. This stuff, this was like 267 for this, but I'm telling you, the taste is uncomparable. The banana, okay? But vanilla I use in all sorts of baking stuff. And this was 99 cents, I mean, if you want to make your own vanilla extract, that's fine. But if you see this for 99 cents, you can cook with this. Try to use just what's in your kitchen for the next two weeks to cook off of. Try that and see how far you can go and get creative. It'll be pretty interesting to see what you do. Last but not least, sugar. I used to buy fake sweetener all the time. Okay, this artificial sweetener. I've made a choice to only buy sugar. And that's just me now. So, I've got my own reasons for it, but sugar we go through sugar um a fair amount i use this for cooking okay i've used more of it lately because of the desserts but the sugar is still fairly cheap so but anyways guys if we're getting anything at the grocery store is that and that's pretty much it butter cheese buttermilk and milk now i know you can make your own buttermilk with vinegar and milk if i got that hard up i would but right now i'm still getting buttermilk okay and something else, something else I forgot to show you. One last thing that I have to have is vegetable shortening. I don't care, you know, I don't care. I fry with this. I'll use a little, a little bit in the morning to make my omelet with, my cast iron skillet, but otherwise biscuits. This buttermilk and self-rising flour, that's what I use, okay? Um, but I have to have that. 
this is expensive. If there was a way we could have a lard, I get it. You know, I mean, from a pig, we don't have pigs, we don't have cattle, we don't have goats. Okay, so y'all know I'm bad on the dairy department and the fat department. I don't have this stuff, so I have to buy it. But otherwise, oh, this was from, look at the size of this basket. It, it's bigger than me. This is from Monday, today's Thursday, eggs, okay? Let me tell you something. I'm gonna throw this in this little video right now. For all of you people that were selling your chicken eggs, okay? If you've got chickens in your backyard and you were selling these eggs, you know that people are probably not buying as much from you anymore because you the prices went down in the store. So for all you people that do not have chickens, go get eggs, cook with eggs. They're cheap now. They're cheaper than they were three years ago, okay? So for anybody that, very bizarrely, they're very cheap. So that's great, that's great if you don't have chickens. If you do have chickens, you're feeling it right here in your pocket, okay? Because the feed's not dropped, and yet if you're selling eggs, people aren't wanting those eggs. Beat the system, okay, by making more egg dishes inside your house. A, incubate more of those eggs. Incubate them. Have chicks, okay? That takes them right off the bat. I've got a new blue lace red wine dot rooster I've named Ike, and I'm writing like 517 Ike, third egg from him, blue lace red wine dot. We're putting Ike's eggs in the incubator, okay? We're gonna have some blue lace. Make omelets. I eat an omelet every morning. Um, a three egg omelet, and we did that. Baking, and guys, I don't wash my eggs until they've been on the counter about a week, and then I'll put them in the fridge, but, so these are unwashed duck eggs, okay? Duck eggs for baking is insurpassable. If you have ducks, duck eggs, these are Muscovy eggs. First of all, this is the size of these eggs. They're humongous, they're fat, they're rich, the best things ever. Boil you some eggs and eat boiled eggs, eat deviled eggs, um, a hungry husband will gobble those up. And it takes, I put vinegar in mine, I put Dijon mustard, a bottle of that will last me two years, really, and mayonnaise. So there again, here comes the, the mayonnaise back in here. A lot of mayonnaise for these egg recipes, so get you some mayonnaise. Egg salad. Egg salad will use up a dozen eggs like that and be gone in a day, and it uses a lot of mayonnaise. Um, pickled eggs, I love pickled eggs. Again, that goes back to that pickling spice I showed you. That vinegar and sugar and you're good. That's all it takes. So eat more eggs. If people aren't wanting to buy from you, if you're selling farm fresh eggs, eat more eggs or give them away. You know, put them around your tomato plants. If, if people aren't buying, put it out in your garden and put it to use. Crack the egg or use the egg, then save the shell. Put it out there with those tomato plants. Do that anyways, even boiled eggs. After you boil your eggs, in the water, get your eggs out of that water. Don't pour it down the sink. Pour that water in a different pan and take that pan out and water the bottom of your tomato plants. The calcium leaches through the shell when you boil those eggs, okay? Pour it around those tomato plants. Pour it around those zucchini and squash because they'll get blossom in rot too, okay? Y'all seen a squash and a zucchini where the bottom's rotten? Throw it there too. That does nothing but help, okay? Some of the best fertilizer you can use is after you boil vegetables or eggs in this kitchen and take the water that they boiled in out to the, that garden, okay? So just just have it in your mind like, hey, it's not gonna hurt us right now and we're gonna eat more eggs. So substitute more eggs, which, whichever way you can. You might wanna make some meringue to put on top of your chocolate pack, okay? You know, we use it, okay? All right, guys. That's our pantry staples now. I have a portable pantry that's stackable shelves and I've done a video on that. Go to Home Depot, get the thing, stack them up. You can start your seeds on them in front of a big window. You can put canning jars on it. I have all of my canned goods there. And my pantry consists of, outside of this, my pantry is all canned goods. Canned green beans that we grew, canned pumpkin that we grew, potatoes that I bought, was on sale, diced them up, pressure canned them, they're there. Spiced crab apples. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Pickles, diced tomatoes, diced tomatoes for soups, stews, uh, Mexican dishes, whatever. And then the rest of my pantry is frozen food. 
squash zucchini zoodles shredded zo uh, zucchini uh, pre-breaded okra I freeze that I don't can that awfully much then you got venison meat on sale that's pretty much our, our pantry okay so I don't have that many dry goods but what I got is everything I just showed you now I'm gonna have it in multiple quantities um, I just got a like one sack down of each to tell you that's what fills up our cabinets cook 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 you'll save money cooking okay you may lose time but you'll save money and it will taste so much better set that table cook tonight eat save money we'll see you next time on Harmon Homestead